Yo guys, in this video I go over how to get no input delay on PC for Chapter 3 Season 4. So what's the point you may be wondering? Let me explain. Since the start of Chapter 3 Season 4, Fortnite's in-game performance has drastically decreased. Builds are placing less consistently and edits aren't registering that fast anymore. And after becoming washed in competitive Fortnite, then it finally hit me that Fortnite was just becoming more delayed. This could have a lot to do with it being the start of the season or just the bunch of crap like the blobs that Fortnite just had to add. Regardless of the course, if input delay is something you are facing, do not worry because literally everyone on PC goes through this. And your boy Joe's is here to save the day guys. I am now getting close to no input delay and it's really insane due to the new secret settings that pro players are starting to use. I'll talk more about that later. This Fortnite lower input delay guide has you covered from point A to Z. Trust me, I went through every single single pro guide and every tutorial out there to compile the best methods so subscribe if this video does end up helping you and like the video. Okay so the first thing you want to do is head over to your command prompt and you want to run this as administrator. Essentially we're going to be running something by the name DISM check and this just runs through your device, your keyboard in this case, and it's going to essentially fix any issues resulting in less input delay overall. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is type in the exact code I have and I will put it in the description alongside the screen. But basically guys after you hit the enter key, if you do end up getting an error message, it means that your device has some issues and the following code I'm about to give you will fix that. And I actually happen to have the exact issue, which just goes to show that you never know who these tips and tricks actually apply to. Okay, so assuming you got the same error message as me, you guys want to go ahead and type the following code. I'm going to put this one in the description as well and on the screen. So in summary, what this is going to do is detect if there's any component corruption, and if there is, it's going to fix this. In simple terms, guys, this just will result in your device having less input delay, as it will make sure your device is at its full status and its full capability. Okay, so moving on to the next method, I'm going to revive a classic here. This is to navigate onto your keyboard properties. Okay, so once you've opened up your keyboard properties, what you guys are going to want to do is put your key repeat delay on short and your key repeat rate on fast. So I'm going to differentiate the two. Your key repeat delay is the delay it takes when you press a key on your keyboard. And your key repeat rate is the time difference between pressing a key repetitively or consecutively. So leave these settings exactly how I have them as they're going to help you a lot for Fortnite in reducing your input delay and the overall latency. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably wondering if this is actually going to help you. Please take this method with a grain of salt as I've heard from some people that it doesn't make a difference. But I've also heard from a lot more people that it does. So it's better in the long run to do the setting because it only takes a few seconds out of your day and I'm sure that in some shape or form it will help you. Okay so this method is a bit more of a simpler one but it's something that actually affects a lot more people than I thought it would. You guys should be on performance mode as I am right now but there's a quick setting you want to change so you guys have to go back onto DirectX 11. For this method guys I'm going to be giving you the best Fortnite settings but upon giving you these settings make sure you're copying it as I go. Where you have your last setting the low latency mode you guys don't want this to be on off or on you actually want it to be on on plus boost. Now the reason why I don't say have it on anymore is because there's been a lot of issues issues associated with performance mode and not having on plus boost. So pretty much guys you want to revert back to performance mode once you've enabled on plus boost because for no necessary reason Fortnite made it so that you can't turn on on plus boost when you're on performance mode. You have to do it through DirectX 11, apply changes and revert back to the original. But before you go back onto performance mode there's another setting I want to talk about. What you guys also want to make sure to do is allow multi-thread rendering as this can also drastically reduce your input delay. However not everyone can have this setting enabled first you need to see how many cores your CPU has. In order to do this, you guys want to navigate onto your task manager and allocate where it says cores on the processes tab. If you guys have four or more cores, you want to enable multi-thread rendering and if you don't, unfortunately you're not going to see much benefit from having this setting turned on. So yeah, there's nothing too new in a sense and this is just going over some Fortnite settings which you guys should have enabled just for that minimal input delay and just that better feeling overall. Okay guys, so for this method, I'm going to be giving you guys the best 3D settings for your Nvidia control panel. Bear in mind guys that these are the settings that all the pro players are using right now and they are proven to be the best so you guys can pause the video at your own time and copy each thing this will ensure that you get the lowest latency and the only major change since the last Nvidia control panel video I made is that you guys should now have low latency mode set to off because it turns out that it actually has more negatives than advantages and it's just going to burn out your PC even more. The good thing about these settings are that it works for both Windows 10 and 11. You guys can use this regardless of your operating system. However, the next method I'm about to go over is just tailored to those of you who have Windows 11. But bear in mind guys that this will be an insane method and trust me, you guys want to find out what this is. This is reduced input delay 
way so much for many people and it's actually a method that a lot of pros will start to use and it'll be known more in the esports scene. Shout out to Dr. Alpha for letting me use this footage but what you guys want to do is head over to your settings in Windows 11 then head over to where it says gaming and I'll click on game mode then graphics and now you guys want to listen up carefully press change default graphics settings and you guys want to tick this optimization for windowed games. This new secret setting has actually been announced for Windows 11 to greatly reduce latency and definitely improve input lag. So guys, you're hearing it here first, I think. I haven't heard any other Fortnite YouTubers talk about this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this is an insane setting that you guys should have enabled. I myself don't use Windows 11, even though I should, guys, but to anyone who does end up using this setting, let me know how it is. I've heard great things from Dr. Alpha himself, and he does use Windows 11, so you guys can trust me on this. I wouldn't be giving you some random, some random dodgy setting, but I want to know just how much of an improvement it makes in Fortnite so feel free to leave a comment and please like the video if this piece of information was quite informative. And before you guys click off this video the last tip I'm gonna give you is gonna drastically help you and I think this one is a pretty good one so stay tuned for that. Okay so for this method you guys are gonna want to head over to your task manager and essentially what we're gonna do is reduce this number called processes. So in other words processes is just the amount of processes that your CPU has to execute and the higher this number you guessed it the more delay you're gonna have. Now excuse me for my utter high processes number that's because as some of you may know i just got my pc back and that's one of the reasons i started uploading again but never mind that's off topic so first you guys want to head over to services and then once it loads up you're going to look for something by the name sys main so to further explain what we're about to do sys main which is also called super fetch is basically this super annoying thing windows has pre-enabled for you and what it does is it analyzes your computer's behavior and we all know that that's going to come with a cost it basically analyzes computer usage and in order to help you with user experience experience they say but it just causes more harm than good overall and will heavily increase your input delay as well as strain your pc so once you guys are on services you guys want to scroll down and try and find sys main each of these things are allocated by alphabetical order so it shouldn't take that long to find it but once you find it you guys need to listen up carefully you guys want to press disable but you also want to stop this from running and then you guys want to hit apply and ok make sure you guys are stopping it so that it can work more effectively Overall guys, those are the best ways to reduce input delay and get no input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. If you guys did end up having any problems in any point of time in this video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and either me or other people will be more than happy to help you. I know it was quite unexpected for me to make a video at this time because I've not made a video before this in months, but guys I will be back on the grind and I did actually have a problem with my PC where it did end up breaking in about January and so I wasn't able to use my computer for a really long time, but we're back guys. Guys, we're on track and see you in the next video and also don't forget to like and subscribe because this video has taken me a long time to make and it only takes about one or two seconds out of your day so so yeah guys please consider it yeah.